to pray against this attack in your stomach. Come. There's an attack that devil gave you. Yes, ma'am. In your stomach here, on your side of your stomach. Yeah. And then Satan is trying to block your husband. Where's your husband? Dead. Can we just come together? Because God wants to bless you. There's an attack that I'm seeing here. Okay. Eh? And Satan is trying to use the same kind of an attack to block this man. Okay. Because God wants to make him a businessman. Okay. This man. Will you try to do business? I am a businessman. You're a businessman. So God wants to make you a serious businessman. Okay. I don't know you, but I'm hearing breakthrough yes. that is coming to you in millions. Let me call it that way. Amen. You'll give us a great testimony very soon. Amen. Because you are worrying about the delay that you are going through, isn't it? Amen. Huh? Amen. It's true. You are blessed, okay? Can you just come? And this, this issue here, this thing is beginning to affect, it's like there's a wrong menstruation. This? A rock menstruation that is coming out. I was feeling pain here yeah, and you I was vomiting the pain. last week. I was vomiting, so I don't know what was the problem. So that is an attack that I'm talking about. But let's watch what God will do for you. Amen. You understand? Amen. Uh, because your husband is expecting great things. Amen. And the issue of a baby also that God wants to give you. I just saw a small boy that God wants to give you. Also. Oh, okay. You, you hear me? Yes, uh, of God. Are you crying for a baby? No, not at the moment. But there's a boy that is coming. Oh. That boy will be called a blessing. Oh, okay. The name of the boy will be called Blessing. Amen. My name is Mbali Sigudu. I'm coming from Middleburg in Pumalanga, and the person next to me is my husband, Bongani Sigudu. And today you received a word of prophecy from Apostle. Can you tell us what he said to you and also confirm it? Okay. Um, the Apostle said to me, I have a problem on my stomach. And he also said the same problem wants to attack my husband because he is a business person. Okay, I would like to confirm the prophecy to be true because last week I was having... I, 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 it felt like ulcers. I'm not sure what it was because I was vomiting on my stomach. And also, um, in with regards to my husband, the, I would like to confirm the prophecy to be true because, yes, um, he is a business person. And there was a delay. There's actually a um, contract that came out in Limpopo province. However, there were some delays. So I would like to confirm the prophecy to be true. Yes. And what was happening to your stomach? Uh, it felt like ulcers. I didn't go to the doctor. I'm not sure what it was, but I was vomiting. And even today, I could feel the pain, but I'm not sure what it is. It felt like ulcers, but I'm not sure what it was. Mm. And for how long has this been happening, and how was it affecting you? It started last week. It started last week. I didn't have the problem before, but it started last week. Mm. I was vomiting, I was feeling dizzy, and yeah. I don't know what, what it was. And the man of God also mentioned the issue of a child. Yes, he mentioned the issue of a child, that uh, God is going to bless us with um, another baby boy. Yes, it's true. I would like to confirm. And now how are you feeling that he has prayed for you? Are you still feeling those pains that you were feeling? No, I don't feel anything. And what are you believing God for? I believe God for our breakthrough in the business that um, he was prophesying about. Uh, in Lipombo province and also our breakthrough in some of our businesses because we're running a logistic business as well so there has been some challenges so we pray we believe God for breakthrough as well so can you also tell us your name where you come from and introduce the person next to you and also confirm the prophecy okay my name is Bongan Sekoto we are from Metlebeck the person next to me it's my wife uh, I would like to confirm the prophecy to be true to be true because uh, we had some delays with some contract in Limpompo so I believe that we have found our breakthrough today and were you praying that God should intervene in your business yes definitely that is why we are here today so that God may release the blessing upon us and how are you feeling 
I'm feeling blessed. I know that from today, everything is all right with our lives. There's a job that is coming to you. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. Uh, because you are crying for a job. Yes. Huh? Yes. You are crying for a job. You want a job. Yes. So you will work very soon in Jesus' name. And when you work, because in your family they don't believe God. Yes. There's a problem where your family they don't believe God. Yes. Huh? Yes. And uh, now you must follow God. Yes. Because the job is coming from God. Yes. You must follow God. You hear me? Yes. God bless you. Can you just come? My name is Kate. I'm coming from Galfontein. And tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it. Uh, my, the pastor has prophesied for me that I'm going to get a job and that, 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 that the job is going to change my life and then also my family and then I have to come to church. Were you searching for a job? Yes, I was searching for a job. And for how long have you been searching for a job? I've been searching a job since uh, January. And the fact that you were not working, how was that affecting your life? It was very bad because I am not used to stay at home and not working. Yes, yes. And also I have to provide for my family at home. Yes. And now that the man of God has located this challenge and also prayed for you, what are you believing God for? I believe that God is, is indeed in with, in, is with me and it's working and there's, in, there's God in this church. Yes. You are crying for your marriage. Amen. Is it true what it's I'm saying? True. Eh? It's true. Because uh, you are giving up. Yes. This is something that tells you to get out. Yes. Eh? It's true. You, sometimes you wish to go out. Yes. I'll pray for you. God will fight for you. Amen. Do you still love your husband? Very much. Eh? Very much. But it's like he's making everything difficult. Yes. Eh? It's true. No, leave her. Eh? Leave her. What are you doing to her? She's staying there because of you. Leave her. She stayed there yes, in the house because, because you told her that if she leaves that man, she'll never marry again. So I told her. Yes, you told her oh when she came here for the first time. That's for the why, first time. That's why she stopped. She said, I will never leave because this when, man will die and I will kill him. When was that that I told her? The first time when she came here. The first word you told them is that she must stay with that man because if she leave him, she will never marry and he will never marry again. So that's that the reason. That is why she stopped. She so, should have left. So you want her to leave? Yes. Who are you? I'm the generational case of that family. And I will kill that man. It's because of you. you leave you, this lady. You leave her. I must leave her. Leave her. You are a generational leave case her. Yes. of the family. Yes. Oh, okay. Now you are leaving her. Leave her. In Jesus' name. It's over. Leave her down. That demon will go out. Leave her. The demon will come out. Well, I'm to leave this lady, man. Leave her. Leave her. I will destroy them. In Jesus' name. Jesus mighty. It's over. I'm Tony Pilongwele. I stay in Bichekas. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Okay, I confirm the prophecy to be true. The prophet says that um I, I think I'm thinking of giving up on my marriage, so I confirm it to be true because I've been meeting so many challenges that sometimes I feel like giving up. Yes. And what kind of challenges were you facing that made you to leave your marriage? Okay, so ever since I met my husband, it's like everything just fell down. Everything is difficult. Everything has become difficult for us. Everything we tried is like it's failing. So I confirm the prophecy to be true because sometimes I felt like giving up but because of my love for him and believing in God, I decided to stay because when I first came to Charis, the prophet says that our marriage is from God and if I, if I leave my husband, I'll never marry and if he leaves me, I'll never marry again. So I decided to stay and believing in God and today I found my prophecy and I believe that I'm free. And for how long has there, has there been this limitation and stagnation in your marriage? So I can say, uh, I, ever since we met, this challenge has 
been troubling us for so long because every time things will go smoothly and then after that things start to fall again just like that. And how was it affecting you spiritually? It was affecting me because sometimes I fail to pray, sometimes I feel like God doesn't see me or I felt like giving up because uh, when I feel like praying everything will come back and start replaying on my mind and I'll feel like giving up. The only solution is for me to live but I thank God for today. And how are you feeling that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you? I feel free and I believe that God has delivered me because he's the one who started this and I believe that today I'm delivered because I was believing God for my deliverance and I thank God that I'm delivered. Amen. There's a dream you have dreamed. Yes. Eh? yes but this dream is just repeating itself. Yes, Daddy, yeah, because, because I dream a eh? lot of dreams. I dream a lot of dreams. But so I'm talking about the dream of the dead people. Yes, eh? it's true. That you are just repeating itself. Yes. Eh? And now you start, you start to have fear. Yes. Even when you're inside the car, it's like there's fear on you. Yes, eh? it's true. So there will be nobody who will die in your family. Eh? Nobody will die. Come on, you demon. <laughs> what I do here? Huh? Why do you want to kill people? I can't hear you. Fire. I can't hear you. Come on. Why do you want to kill people here? Jesus' name. Leave it. My name is Samantha Kwabangani Mtunz. I'm coming from Zimbabwe. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, the prophecy uh, is the, all, everything is true. Like uh, my pastor has said, I'm dreaming a uh, same dream like every day. That dream is, is true. Yeah. And what kind of dreams that uh, you've been dreaming repeatedly? Like I dream uh, my friend, like my friend is dead, I think it's last of last year, but every time if I, I dream my friend is coming to me, but I uh, have a stress, but why my friend is coming to me because he's dead, so yeah. And, and for how long have you been dreaming this person? Would it happen every day or just sometimes? This uh, dream is coming every day, yeah. And when you see your, your dead friend in your dreams, how was that affecting you? Like, if he's coming to me every time, he's talking to me many things sometimes. Uh, like, I see the... Sometimes if he's coming to me, he show me... Sometimes he show me say, a, a charms, things like charms. Yeah, things like that. Yeah. And ever since you started having these dreams, how, was, how is your life? Uh, like, it's my, like um, I always have a stress because, you know, if you, you dream a dead person, yeah, I have a stress always, yeah. And now, today, the man of God prayed for you for deliverance. How are you feeling? Today, I'm feeling free, yeah. And what are you believing God for? I believe uh, maybe a good things to come in my life, yeah. You have been praying yesterday. Yesterday. Eh? Yesterday. Because you are looking at the family. Yesterday. Your family is mixed up and there's poverty. Yes, a lot. So you pray that God must change this situation. Yes, Daddy. Even where you are staying, you don't want to stay again. No. Eh? Not anymore. In your heart, you want to move. Yes. But there's no money. No money. So this demon that is holding your family is coming out. Ouch! What are you doing to her? Can you put a mic there? What are you doing to her? I can't hear you. Fight! You demon! Can you just come in? Okay, I'm Petunia Matt. Originally I'm from Guyane, but now I'm staying around Tembisa. And can you tell us what the apostles said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, Daddy prophesies that he see me praying every time and he see a lot of poverty in my family, which is true, there's a lot of poverty in my family. And this poverty, how is affecting your life? 
it's affecting me so much because I was thinking of moving at home to buy another house because I've been living there for a long time. So because of this poverty, I can not move out. And what were you praying for? Uh, I've been praying for God to to remove the poverty in my family and break through uh, in my finances. Yes. And today that the man of God has located this, since you've been praying about it, what are you believing God for? I believe the breakthrough is on, on the way. So I'm so grateful for this pro the prophecy that I've received today. Yes, I believe it will happen. Mm -hmm. We need to pray because in your family, marriage is difficult. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And then you have been praying concerning that. Yes. After the disappointments you went through. Yes. Eh? Yes. And uh, I believe this prayer of today will destroy every spirit that is fighting your family. Amen. You, you hear me? Because it's becoming like a generational curse. Amen. Come on. You demon. Out. Out, you demon. Come on. Out. I'm still I'm Luli, Mrs. Tabeta from Swaziland. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Hey, okay, the prophet gave me, okay, he told me two, two problems. The one I was having a pain in my stomach, then the other one's a problem in my family about marriage to my sisters, actually the whole family because I'm from a polygamous uh, family. What was happening regarding the issue of marriage? Uh, we're having problems, everybody at home. We're having problems with our husbands. Uh, my elder sister is not married. She left her marriage, but unfortunately the husband later died. Uh, she's a widow. She's not progressing. My younger sister has a police as well, but she's also trying. She's coping uh, as well as I'm, I'm trying actually as well. Mm, my marriage. And the issue of your stomach? Yeah, the pain is gone now. Uh, it was here, uh, the I felt the pain for some few weeks, yeah. And how was it affecting you? Uh, it hasn't started affecting me yet because it I just started. But now I feel free because it's, it's like it's gone. Mm. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, what are you believing God for? Yeah, I believe God that he's going to do what I always pray for, especially to my sisters and my mother at home. Where is the lady you are involved with? Uh, she's at home. Eh? She's at home. She's your wife? Yes. Eh? Yes, man of God. Be careful of spirit of lust. You understand? Yes, man of God. Yeah, because I'm seeing you watching something. Yes, and man this of God. thing is leading you out of the way. Yes, man of eh? God. Yes, man of so God. So just hold your wife. You get the, rid of this thing you are watching. Yes, man of this God. This is it's like a pornography, this thing. Yes, my love, that's eh? correct. That's God loves you. Well, you're free. I am Andobi Mulot. I come from Allendale. And can you tell us what the man of God said to you and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God said I like watching pornography, which is correct. Uh, I've been watching it even yesterday. Yes. So he told me I need to stop it and... He prayed for me and then he said, it's okay, it will not happen. And for how long have you been watching pornography? Hey, it's uh, for a long time, many years. Yeah, it's for many years. And what made you to watch it in the first place? Uh, what makes me watch it is normally when I want to masturbate. So I start looking at it and then afterwards I do masturbate. Mm. And how was this affecting you? Uh, it affects me in a way that I lose interest in my wife yeah, since I enjoy doing it on my own. And did you tell your wife the things that you're doing? I did not tell her. Mm. And would she complain to you saying that now it's like there is no intimacy between us? No, she never complained. Mm. Did you ever th think this thing is normal? No, I thought it is not right, but it's still coming. I, wa I want to stop it, but still it yes. continues making me to do it. 
So, but I believe as from today, men of God discovered it. I think it is gone for good. And how are you feeling that he has prayed for you for deliverance? No, I feel very much free and very much right. Yes. And what are you believing God for? Uh, I believe that uh, God will not allow that spirit to, to come again in me and make me do what I've been doing. Yes. Thanks a lot. Come on. You are facing a leg problem. There's a right leg that is giving you problem. It's through, the, huh? it's through daddy. A right leg. Yes. Let me pray for you. Come on. You are free. I'm Kate Malamaja. I came from Zanin, but I live here at Tembisa. And can you tell us the word of prophecy that you received today from the apostle and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God was praying for me and uh, he told me that my legs, the right leg, is painful. And then it is true because both of my legs are painful, but the right leg, uh, it was painful for the whole week. It was very painful. Uh, I can confirm that it is true. What happened to your legs? Uh, it was painful. Uh, it's a long time. It was painful, especially this uh, right leg. I don't know what happened, but this was very painful. Yes. And what is the cause? At my family, my mother has got a problem with legs and my father has got the problems with legs. Yes. So this is a generational case in your family? Yeah, I can confirm that it's a generational case. So I think uh, the prophecies, I can confirm the prophecy, the prophecy is true because my family are delivered. Uh, I'm delivered, I'm free and delivered and my family are delivered in the name of Jesus. And what is it when you start experiencing these pains that you were not able to do? I was praying about it but no answer. Long term, yeah. No, I was not able to work proper. Yeah. And actually, both of my legs were painful, but the right one was very, very painful, the right leg. Yes. Now that the man of God has prayed for you, since you had difficulty in walking, how are, how are you feeling now? Um, since the man of God prayed for me, I feel uh, easy. I don't feel the pain anymore. Both of my legs are, 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 are free. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. And what are you believing God for now that you have received your healing today? I believe uh, God for that, uh, my fa even my family. Uh, when I get deliverance, even my family, my mother and my father, both of my family are delivered because of uh, what I've received in Jesus' name. Amen. When you asleep, you always dream it. Yes, yes. Eh? Yes, I do. And this thing is working to stagnate you. Yes. That's why you see nothing is moving. Yes. It's what you're eating then. Not. Every time. Eh? Every time I'm eating at night. Okay. Every time I'm eating at night. In the night, in the dreams. When you're sleeping. Yeah, yes, yes. Eh? Yes. So God loves you. He's going to set you free. Amen. You're free. My name is Asolo Piamai. I come from France. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, he told me that uh, when I'm sleeping, every time I'm, uh, I'm dreaming eating, they're giving me uh, food in, uh, in my dreams. And it, that was true. That is true. And for how long have you been having these dreams? Since I was, uh, since I'm, I'm small. Yes. And ever since you had these dreams, how is your life? But stagnation, I've got many problems, accidents, uh, everything I want to do doesn't work. So that's, that's why I came here. That's why I came here. And this stagnation, how is it affecting your life? The fact that you are in stagnancy and you are also having accidents. I have a project to, to buy... Uh, uh, I want to build a, 
have buildings in my country, original country, uh, Cameroon, but uh, nothing is going on. So uh, every time they would take my, I can say my papers, uh, they will enter in the, t in the computer. My name, everybody's names will come out in uh, uh, green or in black or what you need and my only my name will come out uh, on red so <laughs> that's how it affects my life and you said this is the reason why you came here today what were you believing god was going to do for you by coming here <sighs> what was, how can i explain that i was believing god will, will change my life will help me to to, how can I say, uh, well, just change my life, help me to pass uh, over this. So that's that's why I came here. These people must never trouble you. Understood. You understand? Because mm. always when you are working, you are afraid. Yeah. They, they are traumatizing you where you are working. It's true. Dude. But God will deal with them. You just concentrate and do the job because they, they are working to confuse you. Yes, did. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's like they have to bring you in the time where they don't want. Yes, did you? Huh? Yes. You work overtime. Yeah. So they bring you in the time where they don't want. Yes. Okay. Bring her again. Come on. The spirit of delay must leave you. Okay, you're free. Uh, my name is Celia. I'm coming from Bremlivu next to Santi. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Man of God, he was saying where I'm working, I'm experiencing too much things that are confusing my mind, which is true, really, very, very true. And how was your mind confused? I was confused just a little bit because it's something that I'm seeing every day. Mm. Sometimes uh, I just say why I'm going to work because of what I'm experiencing every day. Are they oppressing you at work? Yeah, they're very pressing me. I don't know even what to do. Sometimes I just feel not to go to work and sit where I'm staying. And how did that affect you? It affected me very, very, very sad because uh, all the time I was worried to see men of God one on one. But because of uh, the work that we are doing, where I'm working, we are working overtime, but we are not get paid. That is why I was very worried. Why? Because nowadays I was uh, even to fail to pay the tithe because of the money that I was receiving. And since you wanted to see the man of God and God located you today using him, how was that for you? It was very amazing because I said uh, the God that uh, I'm, uh, I'm saving is the one who, who knows everything. So that's why he allocated me the way I was. And now what are you believing God for as the man of God has located you and also prayed for you? I think uh, now everything will be changed from where I'm working. Mm. Amen. There's a car that is going to give you problems. You hear me? Yes, my car is giving me problems. Huh? You're right, my car is giving me problems. It's giving you problems. Yes. And then I'm praying that God will give you a better car because Amen. I'm just looking at the way you are fixing it. Yes, I've been having problems with it. Huh? I've been having a lot of problems with the car. So it's just it's an attack to make you to waste money. Yes. That's if you can see, since of. then you can save money. Right? Amen. You are free. My name is Phineas Taba. I originally come from Limpopo, Ampatlele. I'm staying here in Tembisa, Duduza. And can you tell us a word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Well, when the man of God approached me, uh, he just said to me, you're having a problem with your car. And that's true. I've been having numerous problems with the car. Uh, I even missed a very important meeting earlier this month because of the car. So it's true that I've been having a lot of problems with the car. But like the man of God has said, 
I think everything will be over today because he declared that everything will be over today. And what kind of challenges was this car giving you? Well, it's, 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 it's a, a new thing every day. Today it can be uh, brakes, tomorrow uh, the starter, the next day something else. It's, it's just numerous things every day. And for how long has this been happening? I think for the past two to three months now it's been happening. Yes. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, what are you believing God for? Well, he said everything will be over and I will be able to buy a new car. So with a new car, obviously everything will be over. That's what, that's what I believe. Amen. Go ahead with your prayer. Don't give up. You hear me? Because you are, you are giving up. Yes, a lot. You are giving up. You've been doing a lot of prayers. Yes, yes. Uh, doing fasting prayers, but there's nothing you see, you saw. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. And you are giving up. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Because there's nothing that is on the table here. Yes, I even came to Jobek to look for a job. Huh? I even came here in Jobek to look for a job. That's why I said there's nothing on the table here. Yes. You'll do the ministry. You'll do the ministry. Thank you, Papa. My name is Shulani Mboweni. I'm coming from Zanini, but now I'm based in Eastland Park. Today, the man of God located you. Can you tell us what he said to you and also confirm it? Yes, uh, the man of God said to me that uh, I'm giving up on the things that I'm praying for, and which is true. I've been trying to open up a ministry, each and everyone who I requires for them to help me, they just run away from me. So wh wh whatever that he said is true. And for how long have you been planning to open a ministry? It has been two years now. Yes, it has been two years. But now, I, what, what, what he said that I will open a ministry is true because yesterday somebody said, sent me a message and said, uh, there is a place in Pulukwane that I have to go and open a ministry on. And how was this affecting you? The fact that you were praying and you were getting disappointments? It was affecting me a lot because even my own family was rejecting me. No one was on my side. Yes, so it was affecting me a lot. So I just required one of my friends who is a, a member of this church and then he said, uh, let's go. The man of God will help you. And which is true that I saw a vision that uh, the man of God will give me the confirmation of what I'm praying for. Yes. And today he located you. What was, how was that for you? I was happy because now is my third time to be here. I was here last, of, last week, Wednesday. Sunday I didn't manage to come, but on Wednesday I came. And then he just looked at me. He said, ah, how can I pray for this person? He's dancing like a Michael Jackson. And then I was hoping that he will speak on my life. But I kept on praying, kept on praying. Even the, during the week, I fasted and said, the man of God has to give me the, the confirmation because I saw this thing uh, as a, he was praying for me and giving me the confirmation. So I was, I was happy when he looked at me. Actually, I'm happy. I'm happy. And what are you believing God for now? Now I'm believing God that uh, whatever that I'm hoping for, the ministry will establish as the man of God has spoken. Once he spoke, uh, everything is well. I believe in, in God and I believe in his anointing actually. I believe in his anointing and I believe in God. Yes. There was issue of urinating blood that is to happen before. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And then now it's like you want to come back again. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's so. Uh, I can't hear you. It's sometimes when it comes, it seems like it's salt. It like, becomes like what? It tastes, it's soaring. It becomes solid. Yeah. So this can end up blocking you. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So let me pray for you. It will never happen to you. Oh, yeah, thanks. You're free. 
Uh, my name is Abinaza from Malamlele. And can you tell us a word of prophecy you received today from the man of God and also confirm it? Yeah, when the man of God was praying for me, he mentioned that sometimes when I urinate, uh, sometimes uh, drops of blood come out, and which I confirm true. Since my, my, my early childhood, it, is, uh, it has been happening, so, but uh, I, I never took it serious as a serious attack. And then when he prayed, and then he says, if that happened, and then it stops me, like uh, uh, life progress, and which I confirm, a lot of things were very difficult, but for now, I believe like uh, I, I, I'm free. Would you feel pain when it when the blood comes out? Yeah, I, I will feel pain, and then I, I thought maybe it's 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 it's, it's a part of growing up or else something. But uh, now I, I've just realized that that it's, it's, it's uh, it was an attack. Would it happen occasionally or always? No, some of the times, but not always. Cause even uh, yesterday I felt it when I went to the loo. And, and 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 it was painful so i didn't it, it took it serious as a corner angle of an attack so but for now uh as he allocated that uh, i thank god that i'm free and were you aware that this thing as the man of god has said that it's bringing limitation upon your life were you aware about this limitation that this is the reason why i'm having limitation in my life no i, I was in not I, I was not aware because Every time it happened, I never prayed about that. I, I, I was never aware. I believe maybe the devil just uh, made a, a blind spot that I, do. I, I couldn't see it while I was busy praying for my career, education, and all sorts, which, which is, uh, this thing was a, a fundamental problem. Yeah, so I, I was never aware. And now that he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Now I feel so relieved. I feel so anew and refreshed, and I can feel like I'm I'm free. Like I feel so light. Yeah. And what are you believing God for? I believe that God, whatever I've been hoping for and praying for and waiting on for years, now it will happen because this hidden attack has been revealed. So I believe that everything that God has planned and prepared for me it will come to pass. So confusion between you and one pastor. Yeah, it's true, man. Huh? It's true. You were like you are fighting, but it's a confusion. Yeah. I, huh? Maybe it's the pastor at home there. It's a serious confusion. You must fix this thing. God will open a door for you. Okay. Let me pray for you. God bless you. My name is Lawrence Mtombeni. Uh, I come from uh, Giani, 14B, but now I'm staying at Vosmosi. Can you tell us what the man of God has said to you and also confirm it? Yeah, the man of God, he said, uh, me and another pastor, that there is a fight. And there is a, it's a true prophecy. Yeah, there is a fight. Uh, but uh, because uh, yes, of yesterday, I see, I see him in the vision. Uh, I supposed to be go and stay together with him. The pastor, but the, if I want to stay with him, uh, I in my chair, I I I, I see the, I saw the water there, so I feel to stay with him, and uh, and then but I know my problem, the problem I, I, because I didn't pay pay pay, pay tight tight now, I feel to pay tight now. And the fact that you failed to pay tight, how how did that affect your life? Uh, but there is no affection. May, uh, when I see, maybe it's a Satan. It's, it's, it's Satan he want to he want to separate me and my pastors. Yeah, it's not, it's, there is no problem there. Uh, the problem now, I, 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 I now I supposed to be paid a, 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 a tight debt, so the things will be alright. And now that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you, what are you believing God for? I believe for God to, uh, when he pray, he praying for me, I, it will be happen. Yes. The way you are praying is very good, but don't make yourself anything. Amen. You understand? Amen. Yeah, because if you listen to these people who are telling you many things, they can confuse you. Allow God to do it for, for yourself. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. Mm, already there's confusion on you.
Uh, my name is Apostle Thabo Maile. I'm from Kwamhlanga Mpumalanga. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God uh, spoke about my prayer life. He said, no, I pray well, but the problem is that I listen to people too much and I can confirm that because I listen, this one can tell me this and this one can, can, can tell me that, then I'll be confused because that's what he said. And he said, no, if I listen to people, I will end up being confused. And were you starting to notice confusion when you start listening to these stories? As soon as the man of God uh, raised it, that's when it came into my mind that, yeah, it's true, yes. And when you hear these stories, how would you react afterwards when you are not with these people? Yeah, but indeed I'll be, I will be confused because I will now begin to think, what must I do? Yeah, I'll, in fact, I will struggle to, to make a decision. Yeah. And now that the man of God has given you a word of direction, how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? I really believe God for a new thing in my life and I really thank God for the man of God for the laying uh, his hand upon me and I believe that I've been delivered and I will do the right thing from now on and the confusion is gone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Where is the lady? The one you want to marry? I've not yet decided. That. The lady of children, where is she? You separate. Yeah, we, we there was there was a confusion. There was confusion. Let yes. me pray for you. God will give you a right person. My name is Junius Manyebodi. I'm from Cleveland. And can you tell us what the man of God has said to you and also confirm it? Um, the man of God told me that um, he, sh he actually asked me where is the lady I was involved with. Um, I told him that um, the lady, um, there was a lot of misunderstanding um, and I confirmed it to be true because um, sometimes last year um, after my wife passed, Men of God encouraged me to to marry. Um, along the the, the year, um, I met this lady, and um, we we spoke about the marriage. But um, when when the time goes on, it ended up not um, being successful because she was having some other issues. Mm. And how was that affecting you? Um, in actual fact, um, um, I was just checking because I was not ready to, to, to marry by then. But I was just looking if that will actually be the right one or not. Yes. And when you saw what was happening with her how how was that for you it didn't sit well with me because i by then i was i was i was alone and i was looking forward to marry her yes and the fact that your wife passed away and then you meet this one and uh, things don't go according to what you have hoped for how did it affect you it affected me badly because my wife left um, a young, a young, a young boy, which I was hoping that me and her will, you know, support and and take care of this young boy. Mm. And now that the man of God has located you, what are you believing God for? Like he said, that he's praying for me to get the right wife. I, I, I believe that one day I'll get one the right wife. And how are you feeling that he told you that he's praying for you to get a right person? No, I'm feeling good because I, I always believe in what he's saying. Yes.